Today we are going to talk about wave optics part 3. Last time we had done Huygens principle. Every point on wavefront acts as a secondary source of light emitting wavelets in all directions. The intensity of secondary wavelet is maximum in the forward direction whereas its intensity is minimum or zero in the backward direction. The envelope or the common tangent ran drawn to all the secondary wavelet gives the position of the new wavefront at that instant. Now let us apply this Huygens principle to reflection. The phenomenon of bouncing back of light energy falling on the edge of surface separating two media is called reflection of light. The laws of reflection is proved by Huygens wave theory. The laws are as follows. Incident ray, normal, reflected ray are in the same plane. Incident ray and reflected ray are in the opposite sides of the norm. Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Now let us talk about reflection at a plane surface using Huygens principle. Rays of light are approaching from PQ on the reflecting surface XY. These are the incident rays. AB is the incident wave front which reaches at point A dash. The ray when it reaches C, A dash starts emitting a wavelet. Now let's see how. So A dash B dash is also the incident wave front here. Now let us take B dash C as the radius that is equal to AD which is velocity into time. So B dash C the distance is B into T. Distance is velocity into time. Now let's see we have drawn a wavelet using this radius. The next step according to Huygens principle is to draw a tangent to the wavelet. So we draw a tangent. Now these are the incident rays. We have drawn a tangent at point D. Now we draw the reflected ray like this. So we have these two as a reflected rays. So the incident wave front goes out as a reflected wave front. Now let us see this angle. This is angle I. It is the angle of incidence. It is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. This is the reflected ray. It is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. Now this comes out to be I. We take the wave front and the wave normal. They are always perpendicular to each other. The orange line and the blue line it is 90 degrees. So N A dash B. But, uh, D will what how much will it become? It will be 90 minus I up to the purple line. So you have B dash A dash C as I. In the same manner, B dash C A dash becomes R because N dash C up to the other point is R. Now let us take this diagram again. We consider the triangles A dash DC and A dash B dash C. Angle A dash DC is congruent to A dash B dash C because both are 90 degrees. Similarly, A dash D is equal to B dash C which is equal to C into T, velocity of light into time. A dash C is congruent to A dash C which is common side for both the triangles. 
Therefore, the triangle A dash D C is congruent to triangle A dash B dash C. Therefore, angle A B dash A dash C is congruent to angle A dash C D. Therefore, angle B dash A dash C is equal to I and angle A dash C D is equal to R. Therefore, I is equal to R. Hence, all the laws of reflection is proved. There is an alternate way of drawing the diagram and the equation. This is the alternate diagram. The position of B dash and D are interchange because the wave front AB it is narrower than the earlier diagram. We can have the equation, the final equation as 90 minus R is equal to 90 minus I and R is equal to I. Thank you.